Mastering polite requests. I was wondering if. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our ongoing series on conversational English. Today, we're delving into the world of making polite requests. Our key focus will be the phrase, I was wondering if. This is a great phrase to use when you want to make your request sound less direct and more polite. We're going to understand its basic sentence structure to help you use it correctly and confidently in your everyday English conversations. Let's get started. The phrase, I was wondering if, is usually followed by a clause. That is, a group of words with a subject and a verb. The basic structure is, I was wondering if plus subject plus verb. Let's look at some examples. 1. I was wondering if you could lend me your book. 2. I was wondering if we might go out for dinner tonight. 3. I was wondering if I could use your phone. Remember, you can use any verb in the clause that follows, I was wondering if, to create your request. Also, it's important to note that we usually use the modal verbs, could, might, or, would, to make the request sound even more polite. In negative sentences, we place, not, after the modal verb. I was wondering if plus subject plus modal verb plus not plus verb here are some examples. 1. I was wondering if you could not play the music so loudly. 2. I was wondering if we might not discuss this matter today. 3. I was wondering if I could not come to work tomorrow. In the question form, the sentence starts with, I was wondering if, followed by a clause. The clause ends with a question mark. This is often used when you're uncertain about something and you want to ask someone else's opinion. The structure is, I was wondering if plus subject plus verb? Let's see some examples. 1. I was wondering if you're free this evening? 2. I was wondering if the meeting is still on for tomorrow? 3. I was wondering if this is the right way to the station? And that's a wrap for today's lesson on the phrase, I was wondering if. It's a handy phrase to make your English requests sound polite and less demanding. We've covered the basic sentence structure, negative sentences, and even how to pose a question with it. I hope this lesson has been helpful. Practice making sentences using, I was wondering if, and soon enough, you'll be using it effortlessly in your daily conversations. Stay tuned for more lessons on conversational English. Happy learning and see you in our next video.